Okay, folks, here we are once again. What I wanted to show you um, was the video uh, that you saw, saw last had highlights in it, and it played very, you know, played slowly, but it was not quick enough for you to actually absorb what was going on. So this video that I edited is the only thing that I did to it was I applied an HSL filter which uh, filtered the red out so you can select you can just pick the red and then everything else is black and white now what I did with that red HSL filter um, that would show me anything that was red like blood or anything like that right or if somebody had a red coat which they did um, then what I did was I changed that red color to a brighter color which was like a yellowish green to make it obvious uh, for me um, and anyone else uh, where the red was coming from what's red and what's not because that's almost the most important color in this so here we go um, I have a frame by frame about 26 frames 28 frames that I just want to go with through with you and that way you could see what's really going on here in the uh, much more film alright so let's begin so this first frame that I captured um, you see this uh, yellow right here that is representing according to our conspirators they added in blood to match the Zapruder film okay and the there's a lot of issues with that because if you look at the video, the video is very blurry, right? Very blurry. Okay. This is the best copy that I could get hold of. If anybody has a better copy or reference to one, I'll be happy to look at it. Um, but I took the best copy of video I could and I moved it up to 4K. So, you know, make it easier for people to examine themselves and do things. Okay, so you see how... Um, you see how detailed that blob is that's supposedly of blood that they added in. Um, it's kind of odd because the blob is well before this is uh, Jackie it looks like right here in this area and this is with JFK. Hopefully you can see my cursor because I've got a highlight on it but it's not showing up to me at least so we'll find out anyway um so next to the red blob or uh, the yellow blob because it's red and changed to yellow then you see Jackie on the right here okay and you see JFK but you see the blood blob right in front of that, them and this is the first frame I captured of that and I'm like why is the blood blob in front of them Okay, but well maybe this is supposed to be <clears throat> captured <clears throat> as the blood blob goes out from him or something like that. But there's no spray, it's just a blob. And if you look at it too, it's just, yeah, it's just a blob. It's a painted on blob, it looks like. Okay, let's go to the next frame. Alright, so here we go with our, <clears throat> our blood blob <laughs> again. And everything is like jacked up in this frame. Everything's messed up and blurry except our blood blob because it likes to take a good photo. You know, it's very picturesque. But it is, you know, you can definitely see the lines on it and it's very sharp and it's very clear like it's been added on. Surprisingly, shockingly. Okay. You see how blurry everything is. By the way, if I were to actually believe that these frames were untouched, I mean, because these things look like they look like watercolors because there's no film grain going on whatsoever. It's too fine. The closer you get to this, the uh, smoother it is, and that's not the way photographs are. They you get grain after a while. Okay, this is the biggest problem of all take a look at this how sharp this is once again and everything else grainy you can't see faces you can't see anything just about except large shapes but yet we have a hard straight line look at the bottom of the blood blob 
we have a hard straight line and that's supposed to be um, that Jackie's in the way of and it's all coming out of JFK at that point but even if you look at the bottom of the, of the hard straight line it's they didn't contour it they just used an, a ruler or something like that and did a hard straight line and put their blood blob in right there and and it's nowhere else by the way because blood doesn't spray it just goes in a controlled blob <laughs> you know it's, it's absolutely ridiculous okay all right so let's move on got a lot to get through here um all right so the blood blob is now blocked by Jackie. If you look at the yellow here, right there, hopefully you see my cursor. Um, and it's, so we just see a little bit of it now because the frame is advanced. And of course, our relief painting, which is supposed to be a photograph, and everything is blurry except for the blood blob, which is very, very prominent, um, very odd. Okay. The oddities continue. Now, the big blood blob is at the back of his head, which we can see better now because Jackie's not being so rude as to block it as much anymore. But, once again, you see hard edges. You see how clean it is. You see how pronounced and how clean it is. And it's now moved from forward to backwards to the back of his head, according to the photo here. Okay. Now, look how everything all jumpy and blurry even more and stuff, it's sharp but blurry. The blood blob has decided to go upwards and sideways and form a really interesting shape here. And now it's further back behind his shoulder, right there, his head supposedly. All right, and this relief painting slash mixed photo slash whatever the heck they did here okay so blood blob time now blood blob gets bigger but there's no connection to JFK it's just doing its own thing you know it's the 60s everybody was swinging everybody was doing what they wanted you know do as thou wilt says the blood because it is by the elites anyway okay so yeah no blood anywhere else by the way because we'd be saying yellow because yellow is the new red right because we filtered for red and then changed it to yellow okay but here's our blood blob it's transferred to the back of the car maybe it's trying to go in the trunk get a little sleep it's been an exhausting day okay so yeah more blood blob motion moving on it's now almost covering the guy in the back and stuff even though it's can't be there can it I don't know it is the blood blob so okay now we're at the back of the car more it's squishied more the back of the car it's fallen it's very pronounced rest of the photo not important blood blob it's the star right so there you go now it's smaller, just small enough to cover up the kid, you know, almost he, like he's wearing a blood blob soup suit there. Not soup. Yeah, nasty. Anyway, blood blob <laughs> suit, which is nasty too. Um, and of course, everything is out of focus and everything's messed up and supposedly hurried. And you can't see anyone's faces because photos are that way. And you see what may be some photo grain in some of it, but when you look really fine, it looks like there's layers and painting and the whole deal. Okay, let's move on. Blood blob. Now a very geometric and round shape at the same time. Moving on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm believing this stuff. They did a great job. Yawn. Anyway. <laughs> don't yawn on me uh, look at the back now it's small it's gotten to the back of the thing again note there's no yellow no blood on even on Jackie now Jackie was covered with blood I should be seeing yellow all over her right all over her 
Not an. I don't see anything on anybody. I don't see any blood splatter anywhere on the hood and the trunk. I don't see anything. I just see a little tiny blob going away and away. And okay, so now we ended the blood blob. It's in somebody's lap somewhere. Um, I don't know where it's gone. Maybe to sleep. I don't know. Um, but we're on a new part. We're on the part where we talk about the brake lights. Because if you look here, look at the back of the Lincoln Continental where the tail light is, you see yellow. Now how did that happen? Well yellow is the new red, remember that, okay? And we filtered all other colors out and changed our red to yellow. So if the brakes were not lit, this should not have any red in them. You say, well maybe the lights were on. Okay. Let's 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 test that theorem. <laughs> okay. So we have some yellow. They shouldn't be seeping through. Let's test that theorem. Okay, now we've got more. So the light's lighting more, apparently. And you see some black in the center of it. What's happened is, I'll tell you, let, let's let's stop playing games here. Mm -hmm. They blacked out the back of the lights. They cut a lot of this, but they blacked out the back of the lights to use some of the limo under their multi-layer thing or whatever. Um, and, you know, you've got a print, and it's hard to see black as compared to white. Black and red, I'm sorry. It was very hard to d get everything. But it didn't matter at the time because they were going to play this really quick. And uh, you notice they sped up this film and added fake motion blur and the whole deal and fake motion to it and everything. They did everything they could to, to hide any flaws, okay? But here we have yellow brake light on the left side. Now in the Zapruder film, this is fully lit. fully lit. You can see it fully lit on this left hand side. But on this side it's supposed to be not lit but it's seeping through. Yeah, We have stuff going on here. On the far left, on your far left you can see um, I, I don't know which one, Gene Hill or Mary Mormon, whichever it was that was wearing the red coat. You can see them because again red's yellow because we changed that red to yellow with our filter, right? Okay. So, let's move on. Okay, once again, you see the yellow. It's changing, though. It's not the same. It's changing because they're, it's different. They're working the frames here. They're blocking it out. See that black out there? They're blocking out that frame part, okay? Which is in the Zapruder film, but not in this. Go over some other things. Uh, Zapruder film. Now, this here's my here's my thing to show you that it was not the lights just being cut off. Okay, so look at that. There's very you can see you see that difference. I'm changing back and forth. First photo, second photo. See the yellow light, the yellow light lighting up. See that. I have my mic turned, I just realized that. Okay, so you see the, the yellow light lighting up? I mean, in the back, so that's the red, okay. Let's move on to the next one. See, that's the nothing. Now all of a sudden we're here. I don't know how we got here. Okay, that was a big jump, okay. Now we're going to talk about more brake lights. Oh, this, this is the way that I forgot the clips that I, I did. 
look next to Babushka Lady. And I'm circling with my cursor for the yellow brake light. The brake light on the other side. On your right hand side of the car, there's the brake light right there. We're going to see a bunch of that. More brake light on the right hand side, even bigger. Okay. Now take a note too of the ladies, the one with the yellow coat here. Now this was uh, Mary Mormon and uh, Jean Hill, supposedly, and those coats were not in that position in the Zapruder film. Check it and see. They're not in that position. They are down in the Zapruder. But in this one, they stay always up. Why is that? Well, if you look at the picture here, it is there's a bunch of color bleed on here. This was hand painted. So the red was hand painted on that coat, which means this was a black and white photo that they stuck right here. And maybe it wasn't even a photo, it could have just been a painting um, that they stuck here. I don't know. Yeah, so that's that's false, that's fake. And here we go, here's our brake light right there. Got to make it smaller too. Once again, brake light, brake light, right between the motorcycle, the Queen Mary, and you're going to see a gray blob between this brake light and the Queen Mary start to appear. And the color is off compared to everything else. And that blob is meant to conceal brake light at a certain point, okay? They thought they concealed it, but they missed it. And that's why we are able to detect it today. This is, again, this is heavily altered. Heavily altered film. Okay, more brake light. See that brake light? And then our blob. You see that unnatural gray thing in between there? They're covering up. They're covering up stuff right there. They probably It's probably edit. It's probably something. Okay, more brake light. Our gray blob. The blob gets more obvious in a second or so. Trust me on that. Okay, so so when Clint Hill's coming in, then our blobs, yeah, the, we have the brake light still. He's running the limo. Again, this is like heavily filtered, painted, layers, you name it, they did it. More brake lights still hanging out there. See, they're trying to cover it, but the thing is they don't see it all because they're checking it out seems like with a naked eye or a magnifier that just doesn't have the power to to do that do what they want to do okay so here's where the blob becomes obvious see this blob sticking right here sticking right between Clint Hill and the Queen Mary there's a blob a gray blob right there and it's meant to conceal that brake light probably back there even though a little bit's coming through you can see a tiny little bit coming through okay moving on now the blob is obvious it is attacked okay it's not only it's where the bumper is right down here it's right up in there the blob has arrived okay and again the closer you look the the less looks real on this thing but it's I believe it's like heavily painted over now, something I'm going to show you here, this is what we got to notice. We're going to look at the yellow coat, the left side, your left side, where her shoulder, where her arm should be on the left side, not the right side, on the left side. Because in the one or two photos, we're going to see the brake lights come in between there full on from the right side. All right, ready to go? Here we go. Okay, it's the next one. Now, let's look. See how clean her arm is on the left side. See a little indentation right there. 
nothing else going on except you, you see the color blades because they painted this all right and, but I'm gonna make it small to get a bit there there we go what I am right there see there's those brake lights right there so my cursor is right under Clint Hill's arm there's the brake lights it's not her extension of her I'm gonna rock it back and forth for you so you'll see there 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 and notice how everything moves like it's layers if you ever worked with compositing and layers you see the layers moving and you see other things not moving those jackets should be moving now they should be in the wind out of the wind and they're not moving they're stiff as a board and those people don't move because they're not real they've been placed on the lawn more when they were in the street to fortify the government story look at that rocking back and forth you can see what's changing okay let's move on still see some brake light right there back and forth to the next one the blob appears between the next photo and you can see uh, maybe a little bit of light on that and I think that's it yeah okay so I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go all the way back for you and then let you see the progression clicking through letting you see the progression brake lights We're looking at brake lights and the blob between the car the blobs are doing their thing today man you got blood blob you got a blackout blob you got all the blobs anyway though um, hope this was helpful to people and we're gonna close this video out now